everyone welcome to home school so we are in the last video of the chapter 3 that is the alteration of the generations so what do you mean by alternation of generation see in the plant body we get to see both haploid cells as well as the diploid cells so both haploid cells can also divide and diploid cells can also divide it means that when haploid cells divide they can give rise to haploid plant body and when diploid cells will divide, they can give rise to diploid plant body, isn't it? So when haploid cells will divide, what happens? Haploid cells will, they will form the, they usually undergo mitosis and they form a plant body which is called as the gametophyte, isn't it? Or the haploid cells, they also form the gametophyte which will which can which we can call as the main plant body in some plant species as we had seen it in the algae and all isn't it so that was haploid plant body was the main plant body gametophyte was dominant there and sometimes what happens so usually the uh, gametes are being formed which are haploid in nature and those gametes will fuse to form a diploid zygote and that diploid zygote will later develop into embryo and then the embryo will develop into the main plant body which is diploid in nature because diploid cells can also divide and the haploid cells can also divide mitotically. So when the sporophyte is forming here from the zygote, it is dip, it is dip, uh, dividing mitotically to form a main plant body which is diploid in nature. So, so which we had seen previously in case of angiosperms, isn't it? The sporophyte or the main plant body was diploid in nature. So in, in such cases what happens again? In the diploid plant body, all right, in the diploid, diploid plant body, again from that the spores are being formed which are haploid in nature or again the gametes are being formed which are haploid in nature. From the gametes, again a diploid plant body is being formed by the fusion of those gametes. So what is happening here? Some part of the life cycle is getting haploid and some part of the life cycle is getting diploid here in the same plant body. So it means that a single plant in their complete life cycle, it is alternating its life cycle from haploid to diploid, diploid to haploid. But however, some plants will have a longer uh, haploid generation a duration and some plants will have longer diploid generation and a shorter haploid one few plants will be having longer haploid one and a shorter haploid one, shorter diploid one but anyways in a, in a complete life cycle they are alternating themselves from a diploid stage to haploid stage haploid stage to diploid stage so this alternation all right so this uh alternation of from a diploid to haploid haploid to diploid in the same life cycle is called as the alternation of generation all right alternation of generations if the if in the life cycle the haploid stage is dominant such life cycles are called as haplontic life cycles if the uh, diploid stage is dominant then such life cycles are called as diplantic life cycles few organisms will be having or few plants will be having equal haploid as well as equal diploid stages such uh, life cycles are called as haplodiplobiontic life cycles so anyways we will three all the we will see all the three life cycles okay so first one haplontic life cycle so very very uh, simple life cycle actually we had seen it in the alga wherein wherein the thallus is formed the gametophyte is the main plant body we had studied it there isn't it so what happens so we'll first start it from the formation of the gametes only so when the gametes have been formed okay female and male gametes have been formed so they usually so they usually what happens will be haploid in nature the gametes so when they fuse when the syngamy syngamy is fusion of male and female gametes so when they fuse we get a diploid organism or we get a diploid stage there so we have one diploid zygote now let's imagine we have diploid zygote 
So from this diploid zygote which is formed, so meiosis is happening. After the meiosis, again the haploid spores are formed. From the haploid spores, the gametophyte which is the main plant body, alright, which is the main plant body is being formed. From this gametophyte, again the female and the male gametes are being formed. So since the gametophyte is formed by the spores which are haploid here, it is undergoing mitosis to form the gametophyte or the main plant body and hence the main plant body is also haploid in nature and this is giving rise to female and sex, uh, female and male gametes and that or uh, the formation of the gametes is called as gametogenesis and then these two N and N haploids will form a diploid zygote. Alright. So the formation only this zygote is only the zygote is diploid form. Only the zygote is diploid. All everything else is haploid here. So haploid is major or haploid is quite dominant. Haploid, haplontic stage is quite dominant. Hence we call this life cycle as the haplontic life cycle. Alright. An example for this is Volvox and Spirogyra. These are algal forms, isn't it? We had seen the thallus formation and everything if you remember it. Then moving on to the diplontic one. So in case of diplontic what happens? So here again we will start it from the gametogenesis only. Fine. So if the syngamy is happening then zygote which is diploid is formed. So now the diploid is the diploid zygote is giving rise to main plant body. It means that the sporophytic stage is very dominant here not the gametophytic stage. The sporophytic stage is dominant here. So from the zygote the main plant body is arising. So after that again the sporophyte is undergoing meiosis. In, in the sporophyte we get to see the sporangia formation. In the sporangia formation or uh, in the sporangia we get to see the spores which are usually developed by meiosis and they form the spores here. These spores are haploid in nature which give rise to the gametophyte. So here what happens the gametophyte is formed only to produce the gametes that's it. It is not the main plant body. So we call it as um, a fucus. We had seen the diagram only. There we had, I had explained, isn't it? Even the Marcantia we had seen. Like we have male gametophyte. We have female gametophyte which were, uh, haploid, which were haploid in nature. So what happens? So the gametophyte is formed only to, only to produce the gametes or for the happening of the gametogenesis. Okay. So gametes, gametophyte will give rise to female and male gametes. These female and male gametes will undergo syngamy. That is the fusion of the female and male gametes. Syngamy will take place to form a zygote. This zygote is again the diploid one. So the main plant body here is this diploid zygote will undergo mitosis to form the sporophyte. So what you have observed, what you should observe here is the main plant body, if it is haploid, it means that it has, it has gametophytic uh, or it is, it is haplontic life cycle. The, if the main plant body is diploid, then it has diplontic life cycle. Okay. So if main, so main plant body, which is the main plant body, that is the dominant stage. If it is haploid, haplontic life cycle. If it is diploid, it is diplontic life cycle. All right. So next we will move on to the haplodiplobiontic life cycle. In case of bryophytes and pteridophytes, the alternation of generation is quite different. So as we compare to the alga and other plant forms. So what happens here is, in case of bryophytes, okay, we will see about the bryophytes and then pteridophytes. 
the photosynthetic part all right the photosynthetic or the dominant part here is the gametophyte and in case of peridophytes it is the sporophyte all right sporophyte is photosynthetic here and triophytes the gametophyte part is the photosynthetic here so we will come back to this after we study the life cycle okay remember that so now again we will start with the syngali here so in this kind of life cycles which we call it as haplo diplobiontic diplobiontic life cycle okay so syngamy so for the syngamy to happen we require the fusion of male and female gametes which should be haploid in nature and from where we have got this haploid the haploid gametes are formed by the process of gametogenesis okay gametogenesis is the process of formation of gametes so we have formed the gametes and the syngamy has happened then we have obtained a zygote which is diploid in nature so after the formation of diploid zygote the main plant body which is diploid in nature is formed here okay so after that in the sporoph on the sporophyte we have sporangia we have sporangia inside the sporangia meiosis has taken place to form these spores so once the spores are been formed the spores are haploid in nature so these spores have give have given rise to the gametophyte and this and this gametophyte is also haploid in nature and from the gametophyte again the gametogenesis has taken place that is from the gamete we have obtained the female and male gamete that process is called as the gametogenesis all right so here in few organ in few plants like bryophytes okay in few plants like bryophytes bryophytes what happens so this particular gametophyte stage all right this is the haploid stage so this gametophyte stage is actually long lived all right it is long lived and this is the the gametophyte is the one which undergoes photosynthesis okay that is the one which undergoes photosynthesis it means that so this is long lived stage but anyways okay anyways it is alternating its generation with the diploid stage it is alternating its generation or its life cycle with the diploid stage which is also having the equal importance or equal duration all right though this is long lived though this is long lived the the sporophytic stage is also taking as much as duration the gametophyte is taking if it is taking like just an example all right if it is taking 30 minutes it is almost taking 28 minutes so this is almost equal here isn't it so such life cycles are called as haplo diplobiontic life cycles wherein the gametophytic stage is quite dominant and photosynthetic in case of bryophytes coming to the pteridophytes in pteridophytes what happens actually the sporophyte is dominant and sporophyte is long lived and photosynthetic all right here the gametophytic stage is not photosynthetic so in case of the pteridophytes actually this is dominant this is not dominant but anyways the gametophytic stage is also taking as much as duration the sporophyte is taking hence here what happens both have equal importance or both are almost taking equal durations hence we again call this also as haplo diplo biontic it means that the haploid life cycle and diploid life cycle are shared by this particular biological organisms equally okay so this is about the haplo diplo biontic life cycle clear so 
you should be very uh, you should be having a proper idea of what exactly is the alternation of generation if you have to understand these three cycles you should first understand what is the meaning of alteration of gen alteration of generation sorry alternation of generation see we have two stages one is gametophyte and one is sporophytic stage so every organism has to undergo both gametophyte and sporophyte stage but somehow in some organisms gametophyte is predominant and the sporophyte is not that dominant and few are in few plants sporophyte is dominant gametophyte is not dominant so alternating with the sporophyte and gametophytic stages is called as the alternation of generation okay so by this we are completing your third chapter that is the plant kingdom so i hope you have understood all the concepts very clearly and i have tried my best to cover each and every concept which is been given in your ncert as well as few important concepts which are not there in the ncert or out of the ncert also all right so study well and please make the notes of all the classes because they really really help you during the examinations take the take my words very seriously all right so we'll wind up the class by this and we will meet up in the next class with the fourth chapter that is the animal kingdom okay so study well and subscribe the channel as well as share the videos